now we have to create the drawing of the previous CAD model. So um, before that you have to make sure that uh, your CAD model is uh, aligned in a correct way. Like um, if you have rotated the parts about the axis, like after the uh, route meeting, if you have rotated the parts, then uh, you have to realign all the parts uh, in such a way that all are aligned in the either XYZ axis and it should look um, in this manner. So once that is done, then you can create a document. Yeah, let it be CAD2. Um, here you can create a drawing in that in your case it will be on in on shape there are a lot of templates yeah from there you can select this ansi here the millimeter one Yeah. So when that is done, you have to import the CAD model that you have done. So from other documents, from my own shape, um, you can you can import this one, the CAD model that you, you have created. And here are the here uh, the, the the parts are displayed, and from the assemblies, you can create a new version. Yeah, it can be any like anything. Uh, if it is your first version, that will be V1 by default, and then create it. Yeah, so you can select this assembly one. Yeah, so this is the preview of the assembly one. So you can change the view. You can uh, take the right view instead. And yeah. By default, it is uh, one is to four scale, and you can paste that view somewhere here. Yeah, then you can press escape to get rid of the insert tool. So that's done. And then you can have a section view of the same thing. So for that, um, you can take the section view. And for that, you have to define the the plane, the, the plane through which you have to section the the model. So for that, um, I'm choosing so um, yeah, it's horizontal. I'm choosing the center line, and you can see the preview of uh, yeah. So. And you can paste the section view somewhere here. And now, uh, similarly, you can have any views. Um, now you can have another view, which can be the front itself. Yeah, and paste it here. And then yeah, escape to get rid of that uh, tool. And again, you can have uh, one more. This time, let it be isometric one. Yeah. Yeah. So now we are having um, four views: um, the right view, front view, and isometric, and the section sectional view of the right view. And now you can uh, you can have you can mark the necessary measurements. You can uh, refer to the original diagram and you can you can mark the necessary measurement like as if you know. Um, yeah. 
yeah let's mark this one 88 and then maybe this one then the length of uh, the fork that's 166 and similarly you can have uh, the diameters of the circle and now the inner circle yeah and similarly like uh, whatever whatever uh, the necessary measurements you can mark that and even in this view also here you can have uh, the radius of this inner circle and continue and here you can have the title you can double click and edit Yeah. and diagram will be zero one yeah <clears throat> so this is how the drawing is done thanks thank you